fight! Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen, which means it's time for another how-to video. Now, it's 2016, which marks the 20th anniversary of one of my favorite consoles ever, the Nintendo 64. And as you might know, there were a lot of great games that only came out in Japan that were never released over here. The problem is, a lot of these great games just don't fit in your North American Nintendo 64. Now, you could open it up and cut parts out, similar to how you do with the Super Nintendo, but that's messy, it takes too much work, and we don't want to do that. So today I'm going to show you how to play Japanese games on your Nintendo 64 console using only a bit screwdriver. Similar to the Super Nintendo, the only thing keeping you from playing imports on your North American Nintendo 64 are tabs in the console and grooves on the back of the cartridge. Unlike the Super Nintendo though, these tabs are not easy to remove. So all you really need is a security bit screwdriver. These are all over eBay and shouldn't cost you more than a few dollars. They come in two sizes. 3.8mm is mostly for Nintendo carts, while the 4.5mm opens Sega carts and Nintendo consoles. The 3.8mm is what you need for this project. From there, you just need your Japanese game and a North American game. The nice thing about this procedure is it doesn't damage either cartridge and can be undone at any time. All you need to do is use your 3.8mm screwdriver to undo the two screws on the back of each cartridge, and then replace the back of your Japanese game with the back of your North American one. It's a good idea to replace the back on the North American cart too, just so the board stays safe and nothing gets lost, so you can swap them back later if you want. Now you've got a Japanese Nintendo 64 game that'll play on your North American console. It's that easy. So, once you've got the back plate switched, and you hear that satisfying click, you're good to go, and you're ready to play great games like Sin and Punishment. So, that's all I got for you guys today. So until next time, remember, love games, love yourselves, and love each other.